Are we going in? Is that a thing? Are we are we doing that? We're going in. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. We're in Asakusa right now, and if you didn't know, Norm is actually local to Asakusa. So he's going to take me around and show me some places that are really good but not too touristy. So, let's go! Let's do it. Alright, so first place, first place. You like Japanese food, obviously? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have you ever listened to Shamisen? I actually don't think that I have. Okay, yeah. since Shamisen is my jam, yeah. we're going to start with a place with amazing Japanese food and live Tsugaru Shamisen. Okay. And the guy who plays it is so passionate. Awesome. Just so open. All right, let's do it. So we only just walked like two minutes, one minute even from <laughs> even, Yeah, yeah. And yeah, okay. this is the first place. Can you explain where we are? Okay, so this place is called Kiko. Kiko. Uh, and it is a... Like it's kind of like a minyo sakaba, but it's minyo sakaba is like where they play shamisen while you eat. Okay. But this place specializes in really good Japanese food. Lunch is like 25, 35 bucks. Okay. Dinner is hundreds. Go for lunch. Go <laughs> okay, for lunch. Well. The owner of this place is like a master in the tsugaru shamisen and one of the most passionate, amazing. And his English is pretty good too. Okay, sweet. He he said we can come and take a peek if you, hey, if you awesome. want to see what it looks like yeah. inside. Let's do it. Now the cool thing is this building was moved from the area of Hida Takayama 50 years ago. Oh my god. Like all of this is the original wood. How did they, they just take it apart piece they by piece? They just take it apart piece by piece oh and like the poles that are inside are made of like water mills and okay. stuff like that. He's on the phone right now. Oh. Just gonna wait just a moment. That's cool. Whoa. Oh. Me this is it here, and this is actually the proprietor right here, Cold Eye Fukui. Okay. Nice to meet you. How are you? Thank you. How are you? Thank you. Hi, how are you Hi. today? Good. This is Emma. Hi, Emma. Nice, nice to meet you. you. How are you? Sorry, Thank you. <laughs> Chamisen Master. How many years? Oh, I have been playing 40 years. 40, 40 years? years? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. <you know. laughs> wow. yes. So. Do you wear anything special when you play shamisen or just anything? Mm. Mm. There's a uh, Japanese like kind of, it looks like a jinbei but everything's like long sleeves. Oh, okay. It's called samui mm. and they wear that for, okay. it's like traditional work mm. clothes. Do you know shamisen? I know it but I haven't heard it. Ah yes. <laughs> Shamisen is Japanese traditional Japanese instrument. Mm. Is it the one from Okinawa? The Okinawa is was the Sanshin, Sanshin, and then that came up through Kyoto, and became like the geisha style mm. shamisen, and then that moved up to northern Japan, where it became the tsugaru shamisen, okay. which is like bigger and thicker, and you play really heavy to yeah. keep warm. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Started as a wow. really relaxed and light instrument, then became very traditional. It moved then from the really summer heavy. to like the colder areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. No, no, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, what do you think of it? I think it's amazing. I actually feel like I've been transported to like a completely other town, maybe something more countryside. I feel like I've seen this kind of atmosphere in way more rural areas, so it feels really good to be back and it smells so good. Yeah. It smells like all the wood. It's really nice. It is. And like despite, one of the things that I love about this spot is like, as you said, despite us being in the middle of a saksa right near the temple, it's so quiet. All it's you so can quiet. hear is the cicadas it's and the wind. <laughs> How did they do that? <laughs> I, know. I, know. I got no idea. We're like 100 meters, less than 100 meters from Sensoji? Yeah. And it's just sounds of summer. It's just wonderful. It's crazy. It's beautiful, yeah. I love it. All right, should we check out the next place? Let's do it. Let's go. Oh yeah, where are we going now? Next up is Japan's first ever amusement park. Okay. Like the first, Wait, first ever. Japan? But... Yeah. Oh, I thought like, it was Tokyo's first. Feel, I, I think this requires some like fact checking. Yeah, just really quickly. I'm gonna fact check. There it is, yeah. There it is, 18, yeah. 1853. 1853. 1853. I've never been in here, so. It's uh, 
it's really you can tell from looking at it, it's really tiny. Yeah. <laughs> but it's one of those places that like you go in the door and all of a sudden it gets bigger. Yeah. A few moments later. <sighs> they didn't let us in. Because we oh. got a big camera. Yeah. Well But there are other places to Okay. Maybe well, this way. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oops. We got a big camera. It's intimidating. Ooh, it's too big. Ooh. Do you, do you drink? I'm like a little bit occasionally. Like a little but, bit? But okay, when I do drink occasionally, it's usually a lot. Okay, when I do drink occasionally, <laughs> it's usually a lot. I don't drink often, but when I, when I do, it's like I can't control myself and I just uh, keep going. It's like my favorite sentence of today. When I do drink <laughs> occasionally, it's, it's usually, usually a lot. lot. <laughs> this is our next place. I feel like so like because our next place <laughs> oh boy because this place has it all this is Hoppy Dori or Hoppy Street <laughs> and it's an entire street dedicated to drinking there's quite a few people out I'm surprised drinking on a Friday afternoon on a Friday afternoon <laughs> and this is this is quiet like at night yeah it is booming and like out into the streets and right. might make sense to grab a drink oh yeah I'd like to grab a drink that's great there's also another spot for good photography the light comes through. Do you want to go with just like like a beer or do you want to try something that's really a saksa? I'd love to try something that's really a saksa. If you want to try something that's really a saksa, it's this right here, Denki Bra. I've never heard of Denki Bra. So there's a bar located right in like like 111 of a saksa, it's called yeah. Kamiya Bar. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the only buildings to survive the war. Okay. And it's their creation. It's like brandy, it's really sweet. Oh, okay. It's really good. Should I have it with poppy or soda? Uh, no, no. Thank you, Brando. 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 It's kind of interesting how there's so many people out right now. Because, I don't know, usually with Izakaya, it usually opens at like 5 or 6 p.m. There's so many people out drinking right now. I guess yeah. it is like alcohol street. Yeah, yeah, it is the, the theme of the street. There are like mm. four or five other places I really wanted to show you today, yeah. but they're not going to open until like 6, 7, uh, so 8 p.m. So, I know this is the Hopi and this is the Denki Buram. You, you just mix them right up. Interesting fact, I've never actually had Hopi. Never? Never. This is going to be my what? first time ever. What does it smell like? It smells like beer-ish. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you want to cheers me? I do. Alright, come by. I've never had that flavor before no. in my life. <laughs> I love that reaction. Like, I don't know if I was hoping for a reaction, but if I was, it's is a it good? It's a little bit like whiskey. A little bit, but there's a, a different kind of sweetness to it. Yeah. And it's very muted, I feel. It's like, no, no, no. Uh, whiskey is usually like quite aggressive to me, but this is really like smooth. It's actually pretty good. It's very easy to drink. Mm. How's hoppy? It's actually not bad. Yeah. That, would, would you like to try oh, some? Yeah, sure. You can try some mine too. Oh, okay. Mm. If you go to Kamiya Bar, they serve it in these like tall shot glasses with a plate under it and yeah. overfill it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you drink it like that. So, uh, this is just like the hoppy, which just kind of tastes like alcoholless beer. Okay. You want to try? Alcoholless beer? Alcoholless beer. And the reason that they originally made it is because, like, traditionally in Japan, beer is really expensive. Mm. And so mixing this with cheap shochu is a way to like enjoy that beer feeling right. and get drunk cheaper. I think I'm a little drunk. <laughs> I just felt it. As we were walking, I'm like, oh no. This one's kind of personal. Okay. It is by far my favorite breakfast place. In a Have you ever been to a kisaten? So like, rarely I go to kisaten. This so is this it is here. This is the Royal Cafe. It's been around since 1962. The pictures look terrible, <laughs> but the food. They look like they're from 1962. Yeah. If you get these and all of these have like salad with them. Mm -hmm. The whole thing together is like $10, $13 or something. Awesome. But these hot sandwiches I personally the, the really like. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's got so good. cheese. I'm sitting down, seats are high. Dietary restrictions? Cheese, can do so cheese. So I guess the hot sandwich it looks so good is not for you. Looks... I'll just get the, um, do you ever recommend it, hot breast sandwich? The corned beef, corned beef? and asparagus yeah. is good. Okay, I'll, I'll, get, <laughs> like... I'll get the corned beef and asparagus. <laughs> I hope it's as good without the cheese. I know the cheese really does make these sandwiches amazing. I'm gonna go with two royal coffees, mm -hmm. 
two hot sandwiches. Yeah, I'm still debating getting it with cheese. You can try some of mine with cheese, that way you know what it tastes like and get yours without cheese. Or we can do half and half. I'd be willing to share half okay, of mine, okay, okay, so it's half okay. the consequences. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> All right, it's arrived. Mine doesn't have cheese for the moment, yours has cheese. We got some crisps in the middle and some salad. Let's just dig in. Do we just use our hands? I think we just we just use our hands all and right. go for it. Okay. It's gonna be all over my beard. All right, here we go. It's like mad. The bread is done so perfectly. Mm. Like it's literally just the outside <laughs> that is really crispy, and the rest of it is just fresh bread. Oh. Words cannot describe. <laughs> you went through that fast, eh? I'm a fast eater. <laughs> That's me like holding back. Uh, and the coffee is actually really good as well. Mm. The next bit of sandwich, do you mind if I try the cheese one? Just one bite? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. Just so I know. And if I can hold back, I'll go back to the other one. Okay, here we go. Right? I knew this was coming. You can see it in my face before she took the bite. The cheese is so good. <laughs> Makes the whole thing. I'm like on the fence. Like, do I jump in and just stop this? Like, every time she like goes to go for a bite. Take I'm it like, out of my hand, take it and eat it right now. I'm surprised that you eat that quick though. Usually, apparently, I've heard, is a sign of having many brothers. My sister ate real fast. And if she had an ice cream, she wouldn't like lick it. She'd bite it and eat the whole thing and then be like, oh, can I have some of yours? So I had to learn to like, speed it up my boyfriend gets angry at me because he just wants to enjoy his meal and i'm like i'm finished and i'm like sitting there waiting and he's like it feels like pressure i'm like no i'm just enjoying myself i don't think i've ever eaten a sandwich at this place so fast oh really seriously all right so what's well, next i guess you know we, we got to go to that shamisen restaurant at the beginning mm. but because it was like during their their break we didn't actually get to see them play Shami said. Yeah. So I kind of feel like we, we, we've set up a scene but we haven't really yeah. rectified it. <laughs> but I have a way to rectify that. Okay. And for us to hear live Shami said. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do now. All right. Oh. Which way? This way? Kind of full. Let's uh... Let's go this way. All right, so uh, welcome to my place. Thank you. Thanks for having me over. My pleasure. It's really nice. You have a really nice house. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's, no, it's uh... great. So I have heard that you play shamisen. Yeah. How yeah. long have you been playing for? So long story, super short version, about five, six years in total. About eight years ago, I had a car crash because I was like, I was drifting at the time. Yeah. I wish I was vlogging. Uh, no, oh, that might have made it worse. <laughs> it might have, yeah. After that, a friend told me, you need to like pick a bigger goal. You need to yeah. do something bigger. If you could do anything in the world, what would it be? I was like, I would learn Shemisen from the Yoshida Brothers as an apprentice. So I spent two years chasing that goal, yeah. landed it. And I've been playing ever since. That's crazy. Here, let me oh, yeah, grab a seat for chair. you. A few moments later. Can we have a look? Yeah. Wow. That is it. It's beautiful. So there's different types of shamisen, right? Can yeah, you walk yeah. Walk me through the different types. Sure, sure. So this one here is called the Tsugaru Shamisen. Simply put, the Shamisen originally came into Japan through China, and it came into into Okinawa as the like sanshim. It's really small, it's played with finger picks, and it's got a really like light and energetic sound. It's like... Yeah. Then from there, it went up into Kyoto and became like a more of like the, sh the recognizable shamisen mm. form which is a smaller version uh, and it's used to play more like really traditional like mm. kind of like that yeah. actually i think i have a smaller yeah how many shamisen do you have three three so this wow. is yeah, a hosozao Mm. Semi sandwich are considerably smaller, mm. so, and they're not as strong either. Like you'll notice, this is skinned with really thick. This is like just to the yeah. edge here, um, and it's because these are played really gently. Have you played that one? It looks so new. <laughs> this one, I actually, this one was gifted. Oh, okay. And I have like a really beat up one that I played in the beginning, and then 
from the Kyoto area. It moved up to like the Hokkaido area and became a bigger, thicker, stronger instrument because it needed to be able to handle a beating. The thing that distinguishes the Tsugaru Zamisen is it's got a string and a drum portion to it. So like even something simple like this. Slapping at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's when quite I first violent. Started, I was, I was afraid to yeah, like, yeah. hit the skin that hard because I was like, it's, it's gonna rip. Yeah, it's gonna rip. Like, no, no, <laughs> and it's like sharp. It. There's like sharp edges to that. It does scratch up mm. the skin somewhat, but it's meant to it's be tough. really strong. Wow, it's much more. That that style is so much more violent than the other types. And it makes you sweat. Yeah. Like if I were like properly play for a few minutes, like I'd just be drenched yeah. in sweat, <laughs> especially. And the, which is why the air conditioner is basically on all yeah. the time because I've got to manage the temperature and humidity in here. Yeah. So this one is uh, this one's actually an original song by the Yoshida brothers that they're teaching me right now. Oh, wow. I'm, I definitely won't get it right. That's okay. If you're learning right now, it's totally fine. How long did it take for you to learn like where the notes were and where everything was? Because is, is there any? There's no frets or anything. No, right? you just gotta feel it. You gotta feel it. So the when you play at like a competition. Like if I'm looking at it like this and going like, they're like no, I've got to actually play it like this. Oh my god. <laughs> I've got to be able to do that with all of it too. So there's a song called Tsugara Jongarabushi and it is like the story of the four seasons in Aomori. Mm. And it starts out with a snow squall and then it dies down in spring, then summer, and then back into that thing. Does it use like the whole? <laughs> okay. Would you like to like actually yeah, hear yeah, yeah. it? Please go for it. This song was handed down to me from one of the Yoshida brothers and then I spent four years, three and a half, four years, turning it into my own version. Mm. So.
Remember what I said about the sweat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's seriously amazing. Fun instrument. Yeah. You want to try holding it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can try holding it. Do you want me to wash my hands or anything? First, yeah. just put this on. So you want to do index finger and thumb. This part here gets rested on like the side of your leg. Not so much like this, but more like on the side of your leg. Yeah, right about like where your, your jeans will crease there. Okay. There you go. Way. And then these itomaki here will be held at about eye level, roughly. Like like that? Ooh, like, like that? Right, right around there. Okay. Right around there. Now that's the easy part. Okay. <laughs> now the hard part is how to hold the bachi. Ah. I'm gonna give you a bachi to hold. Okay. Now, careful. Take a, how much do you think one of these costs? Oh god, I have no hits. idea. I got no idea. I wanna guess a you, high amount because it looks fancy as hell. They here well I don't know if this it helps this information. These wear out. Like I go through anywhere between two to three of these a year. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say six thousand yen. I wish. Yeah, I'm guessing it's more than that. It's about twelve hundred dollars right there. Oh no! Take it back. <laughs> take it back. Right now. So now how to hold this? Okay. This is the most painful thing you'll do probably today. Okay. You want to turn this hand upright. You want to put this right in there. You want to wrap two fingers around. You want to put a space on the third finger and then you want to turn your hand like this. Oh no. And the trick is your pinky should look like that. The easiest way is just do this. Okay. Right? Now that you've got that, I'm going to hand you this hemi sand back. Okay. Now, try and strike it and make sound. <laughs> like, it just... Just, 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 just jam away. <laughs> You're getting close. Okay. <laughs> you can start to feel like how much force you actually yeah. need to... It feels like a powerful instrument. Oh god, I'm too scared to even like, I feel like no matter what I do here, I've got no idea. I feel like I'm insulting the instrument. <laughs> That's how I okay. felt the very first time I held it though, because even just getting the sound out. Yeah. Like even if you just go don, don, try just hitting the first string. Just this one? Yep. And the thing that makes it really challenging is it's not actually this. Actually, the arm coming down. Oh, so. No. so when you do that, are you hitting and then grabbing a string and pulling it back? Nope. That's just slapping it. Mm. And then aim the strike down. There you go. It's like, there you go. Hey. Most people don't get that right away. <laughs> Damn, you're natural. Hey, I don't know if this is my future though, but... Oh wait, no. How did I do it the first time? <laughs> Okay, that's enough for me. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. No worries. Thank you so much for taking me around to Saksa today. I had yeah. an awesome time. My pleasure. It was so cool. And your shamisen is amazing. Thank you Thank so you. much. <laughs> Still got a long blessed. way to go, but it's a lot of fun. So. Yeah. And thank you guys so much for watching. That's the end of the video. You made it. Welcome. But yeah, if you guys are interested in checking out Norm's channel, uh, we'll leave a link in the description down below for Tokyo Lens. And thanks for coming along, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!